Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Let's start off by talking about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. According to Maslow, we are motivated to fulfill our desires in priority order, starting with the bottom of this pyramid. For instance, I will start off by being motivated to achieve my physiological needs such as air, water, food, shelter, sleep, clothing, or reproduction. Once I've satisfied all these needs, I'm going to move up to the next higher level need. So once I've satisfied my physiological needs, I'm going to move on to seeking my safety needs, and then love and belonging, esteem, and finally self-actualization. It's not quite as cut and dry as this, but this is the basic premise of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And returning to the question stem, we'll notice that it hints at the ideas contained in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, because it says that Elizabeth wants to be a doctor, but she needs to work her hourly job in order to pay her bills and afford groceries. Currently, she's being motivated for physiological needs, right? And that's preventing her from achieving her higher level needs, such as her dream to become a doctor which would be more related to self-actualization. For this reason, this scenario relates well to answer choice A, Maslow's hierarchy. But before we decide on answer choice A as being the definitive correct answer, let's explore B, C, and D. On the MCAT, with these types of situational questions, you need to make sure that the answer choice you decide on is the one that relates best to the situation at hand. Because all the other theories, they relate to motivation, but they do not quite relate as well as answer choice A does. So let's confirm that for ourselves. Answer choice B, the evolutionary approach, this focuses more on the role that instincts play in motivation. So for instance, if this was talking more about Elizabeth's instinct for food and how she's just needing to pay the bills to so she can get food and how she's really hungry all the time, if that was the kind of language you saw in this situation, then answer choice B would be the right answer. But this scenario does not really hint at those kind of deep down physiological needs. So we can eliminate answer choice B as being incorrect. Next, answer choice C, the cognitive approach. The cognitive approach focuses on rationality and decision-making abilities. In this scenario, it doesn't really talk about Elizabeth going through a decision-making process between paying for the bills and affording groceries and becoming a doctor. Yes, there's a decision involved here, but that's not really what the question stem is referring to. You want to pay attention to the language of the question stem. What are the key words here? It looks like dreamed is a key word. She needs to do this before she does that. Those are key words that tell us that we're thinking about Maslow's hierarchy. Not really related to the cognitive approach. There's not very much decision-making language involved here. Finally, answer choice D, optimal arousal theory. The optimal arousal theory suggests that we're motivated by a balanced level of arousal. It says that we perform our best when we're not over aroused or under aroused. And this question stem does not really hint at that idea of finding the right level of arousal. So we can eliminate answer choice D as being incorrect. And as we notice here, that leaves answer choice A as being the only correct answer. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.